Hi everyone, again, you get to hear from me again today. Um, anyway, oh my gosh, my hair's all kind of funky. There you go, well that's just for you guys. Um, okay, so, sorry this is so shaky. I, okay, I'll try to hold it really still. Again, my name is Kelly, and I am going to talk to you guys, that's like driving me crazy. <laughs> Gonna take that out. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about grounding oils, and of course my daughter comes out right now. Georgia, not right now. On the counter, I think. Um, that is funny how that works. Um, grounding oils are pretty much. Uh, just a minute. Coffee table, please. I'm sorry. Coffee table drawer. I wish I could start over, but this is live, so I'm just gonna go with it. This is running a business when you have a family. Um, it's life. So back to grounding oils. Um, these are pretty much my like new favorite thing. And I say it's like my new favorite thing because I've been using oils for probably four years and never really understood grounding oils. Um, maybe because I never was sure how I would use them. I never really understood why I would need them until, um, I figured it out. <laughs> so my um, my business partner Tamara, she is the one that was like, um, I was telling her what was happening, and she was like, "You need a big tree," and so now it's like big trees. That's what we need, big trees. But why why did I need grounding oils? So whenever I have an event, or um, I teach a class, or I do something fun, and I come home, and I'm just buzzy. It's the best way I can describe it. I think I said cattywampus to, to Tamara. Um, I just don't feel, it's not calming that I need. I just feel flighty and um, like uh, overwhelmed, I guess. And this is where the grounding oils come in. So Tamara says, grab a big tree. And so I just decided I would diffuse uh, balsam fir. No balsam fir and cedarwood together. And I can't even tell you how much that helped me. Um, I ended up using it in my diffuser when I went to bed. I, I just transferred the diffuser, went to bed, and I, I honestly don't even remember falling asleep. But the big trees, other options, um, Northern Lights Black Spruce, which is amazing. Um, and Cypress, those are just ones that I grabbed out of my, um, out of my kit. But one aha moment that I had was about the grounding oils once I realized how they could help me um, was for my son. And my son who has tr kind of had a hard time, he'll have a hard time falling asleep sometimes, so um, he needs some extra support. But I've noticed that when he comes home from, um, if he has a late Taekwondo class or if he has a late Boy Scout meeting and then he comes home and he is just... He can't fall asleep. He's just feeling wired is the best way to, dis to describe it. And so I was like, he needs grounding oils. So that was my big aha moment. Grounding oils are big trees are now my new favorite thing, and I will be using them all of the time. So if you don't have any big trees in your oily arsenal, you need to have some. And so with that being said, if you do have grounding oils, what are your favorites? Share them in the comments below and um, share them all so we can all get all the grounding oils because I want more. Uh, Valor's another one that I like. I do have grounding, never used it. Um, so <laughs> I am now. Um, anyway, have a lovely evening. Um, tell us about your grounding oils and grounding oils and why you like them. And um, we'll talk to you soon.